Hey guys, in this video we are looking at Laplacian filter and the MATLAB code for it and how it can be used to perform uh, image sharpening. The image that we'll be using is this one. Uh, we are calling it x5.bmp. Uh, let's quickly go through the MATLAB code for this. Uh, take in the image input using im read command, display it using im show, create the variable for the number of rows and columns of the image f, create the number of rows and columns for the kernel which is uh, or the filter in this case the Laplacian filter which we'll be referencing using variable h uh, then we create the number of rows and columns after padding which is basically m plus c minus 1 and n plus t minus 1 create a zero matrix over here for the image then insert the image into that matrix construct, construct the filter matrix hp which is basically same size as fp and then we perform Fourier transform for the image or on the image FP and Fourier transform on, on the kernel HP. Uh, over here we get the magnitude of H. Over here we basically perform log uh, because using log is better for perceptual scaling and we add one uh, since if this is 0 then it will basically become log 0 which is not defined so we basically add 1 that in case this is 0 still it's valid uh, then we convert the matrix f1 to the image f1 and then we display f1 multiply the Fourier transform of the image with the kernel uh, over here we take the product of them then we perform inverse Fourier transform take the real part and display it over here we basically uh, subtract from the original image this uh, sh this filtered image uh, okay let me quickly run through the code all right so we, we got four images okay we basically should have got four images let me just quickly run it one more time okay so this should be figure all right yeah now we get four images so this was our original image x5.bmp this is the filter that we used laplacian filter uh, this is laplacian filter applied over our image and over here we basically took this image and subtracted this from it and what we got was this so if you look closely at these two images you can actually see that this image is sharpened it's sharpen related to this one and the code has worked fine uh, if you got any queries you can ask in the comment section i'll be putting the code in the description if you like the video do hit the like button and thanks for watching